and welcome and good afternoon. Welcome to a lovely spring afternoon here in Canberra National Capital, Shores of Lake Billy Griffin, Little Jones, Tiny Whisperer. And I'm here courtesy of Underground Spirits, the London Warrior Spring Festival. Uh, we're doing this live on Facebook and we're also recording this as well. So if you can't stay for the whole 20, 25 minutes or so, um, don't worry, we're going to put it up online. I'm putting the rest of you that will be good. Let me tell you, if you're not from Canberra, just kind of where we are. Um, Canberra is a very elegant planned city. Um, so this fantastic lake walk in the 60s and behind the uh, National Library, the shoulder. And uh, the High Club Australia, behind that National Gallery. And it's very popular to tell dog walkers, runners, joggers, and especially those on today where it's just a really, really long spot to be. The Floriard Festival um, is a world famous spring festival here in Canberra. And normally about five minutes of that way on foot, there'd be hundreds of thousands of blossoms and food and wine and the best in the region celebrating spring. But because it's 2020, we're doing things a little bit different. So the festival's now being dispersed across the capital. Um, so I thought this would be a really, really perfect place for great spring cocktails. This is spring cocktails, um, especially for the underground and spring spirits. So we're going to do two cocktails today. Um, and if you've got some questions, or you want to know, just put another behind the phone there and she'll shout out in a way and you know, let me know if it comes up. So, let me um, tell you about Underground that you with. Each year, Underground, as part of the partnership with Floriard, um, creates a special gin on the occasion. This beautiful pink bottle here is this year's creation. I was fortunate to be invited last year to create a gin, uh, a cocktail using their gin that we call, uh, called Lady in the Lake. It was so popular, apparently, local artisan actually made earrings inspired by the cocktail of this tree. Um, so, Underground are a camera distillery that they've been for several years now, award winning, and they've got a particular house style. So, I can get a bit, a bit fussy about what I work with, with the spirits, and I'm just saying that because they're a camera distillery. Um, their approaches have a really pure and pristine spirit. So, if you had them before, you'll know their house style with the gins or the vodkas, it's very natural and quite refined as a drink. And that's what to do with their distillation process. So, no additives, no preservatives, no colourings, for example, especially in the case of this gin. And the filtration process, like the technical formula, means that the spirit that comes out from the distillation process is very, very pure down to the micro So what does that mean for you as a drinker? It means that your spirit is very clean, hopefully you don't get some cold hangovers, some dust and volatility in the spirit that comes through sometimes. Um, and in the case of this gin, when I was giving up a couple of weeks ago to come up with the creation, um, you'll notice the colour here, I mean pink gin is such a craze at the moment, but trust me, there are pink gins and there are pink gins. Some of them feel like you're at a candy store, and sometimes, in this case, light and aromatic and delicate. So this colour comes from raspberries. They're telling me they went through a lot of filters in the distillation process, apparently, because all the little, even at the very, very sub-level, uh, was going clogging up machinery, so to speak. So they went to a lot of trouble, a lot more effort than usual to create this gin because of that. Also in the mix is uh, finger lime. Finger lime is a fantastic ingredient, and again, very, very subtle. So when I'm thinking about cocktail, uh, I especially I need to leave a bit of gin a little while, which sounds like a bit good, that's how we operate in the gin HQ. So I have to like sip it, try different situations, think about it, and everything that I do also is do a fair bit of research, because the last thing I want to do is create a cocktail that's unwittingly like someone else's. So I really pride myself on creating a bespoke recipe each time for these things, but also that's true to the spirit of the gin. So with something as light and delicate with that, then uh, you have to be very, very careful. I mean, you can check tonic or whatever and, you know, just disguise it, but this, in this instance, um, it's quite a, it's a very, very refined spirit, so you have to treat it very, very carefully. But the cocktails I'm going to create for you today um, are very much around uh, things that you can do at home. So let me just skip through the ingredients bit by bit. So, of course, we've got the gin. And uh, this would be limited release, uh, available online. It's only 40% alcohol by volume. Um, so again, gorgeous label, the tulips inspired. And as it all around the uh, the festival around the city, Canberra now, you get uh, you'll see tulips everywhere, which is really lovely. So gorgeous packaging. Um, and what the base is. Then um, I'm going to be using uh, this ingredient, France. Uh, well, could be anywhere, but triple sex is what you need to know. Um, don't. It's an orange liqueur, quite light. Usually, it's a mixer. Could have a dessert, but um, don't slip, don't think about contrary. That's going to be too rich, uh, too sweet for what we're doing. Um, I'm 
sure we just need to write introduction to many of you. Aperol, classic Italian aperitif, but not as bitter. Uh, and again, beautiful flavours, slightly orangey tones to it. Um, so I'm going to be using that today as well. Um, and then it's going to be option A, option B. Uh, we're going to be using some really fantastic soda water. I've chosen fever tree today. You don't want to them. But as I'll explain them later, there'll be an opportunity to switch out to something fever. So again, the cocktails I want to make are easy to make. Now, I've been a bit cheeky to create a cocktail named after the life and working part of my water building with the label's named after. So, Marion Mahoney, uh, some of you may know there's a design competition way back in the last century where they're looking for the best designers to create the city we enjoy today. And uh, her illustrations of these designs were instrumental in helping them win the design competition. And they came to Australia and they came to Canberra and designed the city, which we would just love. Um, but, She's actually a teacher, a teacher and a vegetarian. So I've been told I'm a bad influence on people uh, when it comes to cocktails. Uh, on my Instagram account, I make them thirsty in time of in the morning, and I'm not sorry about that. So um, I kind of would like to think that this cocktail would be great. would be just, uh, maybe at the end of a busy day, you know, maybe off the right day, she could maybe just enjoy that piece on the side. Of the so let's make a drink. So this is one you're going to build in a tall glass, like so. Um, and we add some ice. But we'll just mix it in okay. And again, the ratios of these cocktails are perfectly kept the same as well. So again, they're very, very, very simple to do those. So 45 mils of gin. The ratio is actually quite important uh, about this. A good cocktail does need to be crafted and have really good ratios. Otherwise, one thing's going to dominate the other. A good cocktail in my mind should be greater than the sum of its parts. So you notice the colour here, just lovely and bright and delicate. Gorgeous. Then 15 mils of the triple sec. Any brand fine, but again, don't go for contrast, it's not the same deal. So that'll add some depth and some sweetness, but not dominate too much. Then we're going to add some ice. Yeah. Give it a little stir. Again, the triple sec doesn't change the colour. Now the trick is, if you want to chill it, you don't want to do it. So these big ice cubes are great for that. If you get those at home, you get the silicone moulds, they make a nice difference. Bed for garnish. Uh, and soda. Now, this is where you can go two different directions here. You can go soda water. Or, if you're growing a champagne, like a brunch maybe, and you're going to be festive, you can mix it up with some Prosecco. So, up to you. Uh, but it has been a nice, good quality dry one, not a sweet one, because you've got a bit of going on already. So, I'm going to keep a bit early for it in the afternoon for me, so just top up a bit of soda. So, we're kind of going to spritzy kind of vibe here. Again, nice and bright, beautiful colour. Now for the garnish. There's two. Blood orange. I'm a big fan of orange. It's such, such a dramatic fruit. Um, and the colour, and more importantly, the flavour you're going to get from this will just peek out. I mean, look at that. Just stunning. Beautiful, gorgeous colours. So two of those. In there. And for the aromatics, some basil. Just a few basil leaves. I did try... Often you'll see pink ginger, mint, raspberries, or the obvious cliche kind of thing, but again, I want to do something different. Now, a bit of a pro tip, you want to get some oils out of the leaves. You sometimes see bad guys with just mint. Let's give it a naughty bath. A little smack. Now, whack it in. So just separate it out. And get a colour. Don't tell me you're not thirsty about me. Then some Marion Sundowner. How she this one? We're going to try, just try it on some people soon. So, yeah, nice colour. And again, the flavours of the basil and the blood orange will infuse throughout the life of the drink. But more importantly, you can still taste the gin. This is really important for us. Um, you get this, you can chuck in some sort of nasty tonic and you just lose this thing, which is such a delicate, beautiful spirit. So, cocktail number one. Voila. 
But the other idea I had was, um, as I said, if you're just tuning in, we're creating spirits and cocktails based on the fantastic new release for Floria Spring Festival from Underground Spirits. Also, beautiful, gorgeous number right here. And uh, we'll have these recipes on my website, well, obviously on the Underground Spirits and other locations as well. And this is going to be too and we'll put up on our YouTube channel and things like that. So, if you can't stay for the full time, that's fine. Um, you won't miss out on the time, but do stick around. If you've got a question or a comment, please fire away and the readings at the other end of the phone there. And uh, she'll still be doing that. Should I make another drink? The other one I had in mind, and again, it's spring. So, um, I'm very happily married, but if you're single and it's spring, you know, kind of maybe for turn to romance, it's opening up a bit more, hopefully at different locations around the world or wherever you are, you're safe and well, and you can join the outdoors and things. So I kind of thought, maybe a little bit romantic. Again, when I think about, look at this, I'm in such a romantic spirit. Like my mind goes straight there. And again, it's just light, aromatic, and beautiful natural fruit coming through. So, um, what to do with that? So, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to call it Spring Fling. Spring Fling is called, and uh, it's a, my idea is to create a really nice, basically a really great date night cocktail. You could even make this a nice, scale it up in a jug and make a big little punch out of it um, and just do it. So, we're kind of like, I'm, up, I'm updating the, cos, the old classic cosmopolitan, but it's way better. So, uh, it's got just enough hint and spice. Um, so, it's nice with alchemy, it's sort of the perfect quick combination of really easy drinking and a bit of complexity and you see what I mean. So this one you're gonna need a shaker. And we're gonna and we'll build the drink again first. So I'm again I'm keeping the ratios very much the same. Again, just keep it nice and simple for you guys. 45 mils again of the gin. But then you kinda want to keep the ratios the same. And then I friend a roll. So, 15 mils or half an ounce, half a measure. Again, this is um, it's a very interesting flavour. It's just like a slightly bitter orange if you're not familiar with it. I've also seen them in the upper spritz, but it works very well on this. Then, let's add some ice. Now, this is deceptively simple, but trust me on this one. Let's put some ice in there. Put all those together, like the old-fashioned way here. Voila. In poker, they talk about having a kicker. You've got a very nice hand, but you've got a car that kind of takes it over another level and cups you win it. Or a zinger, even. Sometimes you need a zinger. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Chili. Chili, chili, chili. Trust me on this one. And there's going to be fresh lime juice as well. So do the chili stuff. You don't need a lot of lime. Um, you only probably need the equivalent of about five mils of lime. It has to be fresh lime juice. Then skim. So I'll just squeeze a little bit in here. That's, that's going to be just enough. Then add some sharpness. Now for the fun bit. What I'm going to do is take out all the pips, actually. We're going to use just a third of the chilli. Can you see that? Get in there. So I'm going to see this, this amount here. This is definitely not what you want in a cocktail. So, no seeds. Because you're having a good date now. You want a bit of spice. Right? You want a bit of heat. A bit of frisson. And then what I'm going to do is kind of very, very fine. Uh, This won't end up in the cocktail. This is purely for flavour. Okay. Just a little bit. Enough, I'd say. Just a little bit. Locked in. How long should you take? Well, this is the balance. You want it chilled. But you don't want it too much dilution. But a bit of dilution does add, rounds out the flavour. Sometimes you've had a spirit of meat, it's too stringent, you add a little bit of water, 
the flavour profile I can try it out. So, you see how frosty it's getting? So when it starts getting a little bit painful, you're probably there. Lovely vintage glass, like so. And it's going to be garnished with... Half wheel lime, so pretty. Like so, get ready while it just resolves. And then you two shake, two slurries. Just making sure one of those pips sneak in there. And yes, my friends, is what I call spring fling. My name is here. Pretty thing, isn't it? Uh, lovely colour. Again, the apparel's there, but more importantly, I've designed it so that again, cheers to you. Oh yeah, that chilli really kicks in. Nice clean heat. So like Tabasco, kind of going to this one too, but not so much it's going to burn you too but more importantly, you still get those beautiful aromatics and the Aperol gets a lot of So, um, and the lime juice kind of all rounds and things together. So, it's quite delicious. So yes, it's been fling boys and girls. Using the beautiful pink gin, Gloria Floria gin, Aperol, lime juice, hint of chilli, shaken over ice, and voila. Just tuning in, I'll be making cocktails using the new gin release from Underground Spirits. Yeah, special release created especially for Florial this year. If you've got some questions, if you've got something to say, just put a comment below and we can shout them out. Lots of comments about colour. Comments about colour? What about the Beautiful colour. Oh, no, the comment, thank you very much. Again, the start of the show is the gin. And I was saying earlier that it's quite light and delicate, so you can't. You don't want to get too carried away and the upper is here but again you're going to get raspberry and chilli it's a fantastic combination really it's just you get that kind of citrus aromatics on the nose but then you get a lovely raspberry cherry kind of flight does it not actually this is really good <laughs> um, highly recommend it um, it's so easy to make too the trick of course is make sure you take these seeds out um, you don't want those bad boys from that picture. That's why I was doing a double strain technique there. So. so my friends, thank you for tuning in. We're going to put these recipes up in the very near future. You can get uh, the gin from their website and selected locations around Canberra. Uh, it is a limited release. So, I, um, so, and as I was saying before, they go to a lot of trouble to make this, and it's quite a complicated process to make it so natural um, and keep obtain those really gorgeous flavors. Um, so that's fine. But all these other ingredients are readily available, yeah, as I said. So with the sandana, it's the gin, and the triple sec, and you can choose either the soda water, or if you want to be cheeky, the prosecco, and you can make a big jug of that. If you've got some friends coming over, you just scale the ratios up, and you're good to go, and a really nice summer punch. And with the uh, pink fling again, all you're going to need is apple rolls, lime juice, chili, and of course it's beautiful gin, and you're all together plus. So there we are, my friends. Happy spring, stay safe and well. Thank you, Underground Spirits, and thank you, Flora, for the opportunity to, uh, to share these cocktails with you today. And um, stay tuned, we'll see you soon. Bye for now. Bye, everybody.